Uh, Lena Flotex has been in business for around that 25 year mark. My brother and I have roughly 50 years of knowledge within the industry. We ventured from plaster work with all handcrafted devices into the CAD CAM age, and now we've branched into the printing era. We could foresee that printing would enable us to give our patients a better product, but we didn't want to just print something out that was similar to our polypropylene devices. So we wanted to look at creating a more flexible, soft device, um, but also something that could give rigidity and force through some aspects and then also give flexibility to other aspects of the foot. And that's where we discovered ladder structures. There's a lot of orthotic software out there that is orthotic specific, but no one at that stage was, was offering ladder structures. It was a little bit of a, I think somebody can do it, but there wasn't. And that's, I suppose, until I met EOS and they helped me out with uh, Grasshopper. They then introduced me to Hypergenic. And that's then the relationship where Doc Souls and Hypergenic really grew. And they had a very similar vision to us and what we were trying to achieve. Um, and they were also really willing to help us try to automate all of our processes as well. I, I think the speed that the software also works at and the ease of design, allowing us to uh, grayscale some of that orthotic, which then gives you a really nice transition between firmer lattice into softer lattice, I think is, is what sets Hypergenic apart. Printing our devices have definitely increased our production capacity because there's not as much labour that goes into the jobs. So the print prints out a complete job, it's finished. The technician doesn't need to do a lot other than maybe a pad or a top cover. Replicating a second pair is 100% accuracy. Whereas before when we were doing it um, with a little bit of handcrafted capability, depending on what technician would actually touch that job, but then change that job a little bit. It's given us a greater capability of, of scalability. There's a about a two day difference in manufacturing total. And once again, that just comes down to the lack of labor that you need into the Doxol. I think we could look at diabetic type cutouts, which are, we're starting to, to get into, better ladder structures so they don't wear down as quickly. There's a lot of iterations that I think we would like to start working on with Hypergenic. Um, but I guess everyone's got to tune in or buy a Doxile and find out.